Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away. We now got issue 15 of Hero Collector and Eagle Moss's Build the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. We're doing stage 52. This is a big issue, a big issue in more ways than one. It's ginormous. Matter of fact, it's 33 centimetres big. I mean, look, check this out. We've got the, uh, I'll turn my little scanner on here. 33 centimetres on this one. We've got basically the floor pan here and we're going to start attaching everything to it. The uh, This is what it's looking like from that side, but uh, it's just ginormous. Everything about this build is massive. <laughs> it's all fun. Let me show you what we've got to do. As you can see, we're going to be doing the cargo area floor. We're going to be attaching the workstation, which we did in the last stage. We're going to be taking the interior floor with the chairs on that we did in the previous stages to that and it's all going to be put onto this section just like that there not a lot to do in this stage i know but it's going to look quite impactful uh, at the end of it in the next stage stage 53 as you can see here we're going to be working on the control panel and a solar a, a soloscope a oscilloscope so that's going to be coming next week but uh nice quick one to go by with but i just want to get this out there so you can uh, have a look at what's coming in issue 15 of the ecto-1 now if you want to get this for yourself i've put the link down here once again that link just tells eagle moss and hero collector you've come from the world of wayne site and basically if you're in the us follow the us link if you're in the uk follow the uk link and you can get this for yourself and get up to the stages that i'm up, up here look we've got the rolling chassis up here now we're working on the internals and the uh interior design of the vehicle which is going to be great so look without further ado let's get cracking i mean really look at that <laughs> i'll put it on the side camera look how big it is it's ginormous okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking the workstation that we worked on in the previous stage here and this is just basically going to go into these holes that we can see mounted on the uh, interior cargo bay floor uh, obviously the swing seat with its uh, pivotal leg there is actually going to fall down into the recess there so that'll be able to sit quite nicely in there there's four lugs in there as you can see so we'll just line all of those up and we're going to secure them into place with DP screws just looking like that. Now these come in this uh, stage. You don't need to break open any screws from your uh, previous ones or if you've got a pillbox store in them. <laughs> Turn this over and screw these in. You know what, I'm trying to find uh, a camera <laughs> which would be good to show this on. And there isn't one, so I'm putting it on my side camera there. That's the first one in there. It's gonna does it hold itself now i'm going to use the tripod to actually just hold that up that's perfect the second one i'll put in the one right down the end here again make sure that's nice and tight the third one i'll put right at the top here it's four screws this is And then the last one is just the one in this section just here. There we go. Now, as I said, this base was 33 centimeters long. See, as you can see, that's in place there. Let's make sure the wires are tidied again. They're gonna go over here. As you can see the jump seat now fits perfectly in that section there. Now, this is 33 centimeters long. We're about to extend it even longer because now, we're going to be mounting this to the front of the vehicle just like that look how long it is now again you're going to have to look on the side camera so you can appreciate how big this is as a matter of fact on my a2 cutting mat if i just hold that to where it is we're now up to 56 centimeters long beggar's belief doesn't it <laughs> i've turned it upside down so basically interior here as you can see we've got holes to line all of these up on these two sections here and all the lugs uh, but they do take different screws now on the thinner end here, the ones here and here are going to be LP screws. So you know what, I'm going to put them in first because it isn't the same screws for all of these holes. So here's the first LP screw and that's now married this section up to that. That's the first LP. Here's the second LP. And then all the rest of the screws that we need to put in are MP screws. Once again, they do come in this pack here. So I'll get them out. Wow, look at that holding itself up like that. So basically, we're putting them into the holes here. I 
That's number one. I'll put one at the other side here. That will hold that into place. We'll put one in the center here. Again, probably the best camera is the side camera to look at this because uh, it's just so big. I don't know when this build continues and gets bigger. I'm going to have to probably rethink some of these cameras. That's that one in there. I'll make sure it's tight because obviously this is never going to part. I mean, it's going to be reinforced when we actually put it onto the chassis. But uh, it's looking good at the moment. I believe this is the last screw here. Oops. I will double check though. Because you know me, I've got a habit of missing screws. There should be five of these ones. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we put all those in as well. So there we go. We've got that now attached to the vehicle. And that is all there is to do in that stage absolutely ginormous isn't it but uh i enjoyed that i thought not much to do but it's just impact for what it was to do so uh issue 53 or stage 53 should i say is going to be out next week i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe have a good weekend and take care of yourselves